I've always been fascinated with how storytelling is evolving as computer games make interactive fiction more and more accessible. Walking simulators are a genre of video games that focus on exploration, narrative and atmosphere rather than combat. Walking simulators can be seen as a form of interactive storytelling in which the player's choices and actions may have subtle or significant effects on the outcome. I've been working on a walking simulator engine for some time and it's really starting to come together for me, so it's time to start talking about it a little. Recently, I've been focusing on adding polish to both the walking simulator engine itself and the all-important developer tools needed for creating stories within it. It's very early days, there's not too much real gameplay right now, but it is progressing. Let's dive into the major changes in this latest version. On the walking simulator side of things, we've made numerous small but significant improvements. The standout feature in this release is the addition of in-game video recording. This new feature complements the existing photo mode and takes storytelling to the next level. It allows players to record and share moments from their virtual lives as their story unfolds. Moving over to the developer tooling side, we've introduced several debugging features to streamline future development work. The most significant of these is that same in-game recording feature. It allows us to quickly review many hours of gameplay looking for bugs. Let's take a look at the full list of improvements in this release. We've added our very first dialogue-based scene, providing a tiny hint at what's to come in the story mode. We've also introduced achievements to encourage exploration of the engine's features. For example, players can earn achievements for using different control options, such as third person. First person and photo camera. Players can also earn achievements for controlling different characters in the world. As they explore, they will gain experience, though there's no levelling just yet. To enhance the overall user experience, we've included loading screens between major scene changes. This allows us to present helpful tips to guide discovery of the engine's features. Our work on audio has resulted in better synchronization of ambient and weather effects. And there's no more sliding gear animations as we've reduced that issue. Of course, the highlight is the aforementioned in-game video recording feature. This allows you to capture and relive those memorable moments. Naturally, we've addressed some pesky bugs too. For example, character hunger levels were not increasing which cause characters to neglect to eat. We've also fixed respawn after playing an Easter egg minigame, ensuring a smoother experience. Finally, on the technical side, we've enabled scripting of terminal commands and made improvements of the time manager architecture. That wraps up improvements in this pre-alpha version of our walking simulator engine. Stay tuned for future updates. In the meantime, we'd love your feedback on the engine, even at this early stage of development. Head on over to itch to download it, link in the description and here.